Welcome to this SOLIDWORKS and Engineering Drawing Tutorial using GD&T where I'm going to apply some geometric and tolerance controls to this whole pattern of this bracket here. Let's go ahead and get started with some basic dimensions. These dimensions to call out the, uh, you know, these holes where they are relative to the plate. They don't get any special tolerances or controls, nothing applied to them. That's why they're called basic dimensions indicated by the box around them. So we'll call the space in between out the value displayed there. And one of these edge to the center of this hole here on the left side. Zoom in a little bit for this one. Same thing with this one. These are all, again, basic dimensions. Now we want to apply our datum. Our first datum feature is going to be the bottom of this plate here, or bracket, that big surface. And then for our second datum, we're going to apply it to the edge of this root here. And we're going to place our third datum using this uh, feature of size of the two parallel faces of the plate. So we can apply it there. We have A, B, and C datums to lock down and fix this bracket and now we can get more into the uh, geometric controls so for this datum here we're going to apply flatness call out flatness here tolerance for this space 0.01 and select OK. And for this width between the two uh, surfaces here, we're going to call out a perpendicularity control. So we're going to select perpendicularity and we'll make it 0 0.05 with respect. To let's see, add datum with respect to datum A, our main primary datum here, this larger face on the bottom, and we can customize it so that it plays vertically, and we'll put it underneath and associate it with that to call out there. And for the whole pattern call out, I like to use the note arrow, just uh, is easier to use. We're going to point out to this hole here, and we're going to type in 2x. We can insert our symbols now. We're going to use our diameter symbol 0.25 inches. And we'll go to tolerance plus or minus 0 0.01. Out of that, that'll be our whole size and tolerance. And then for the geometric control, place another box by clicking here. And we're going to use the position control indicated by this. Uh, 0 0.02 and then we're going to do a maximum material condition meaning um, when the hole size when the diameter of the hole is the smallest meaning the maximum material indicated by this circled M we're going to add our atom 
primary A, add new, B next, add new, and then finally our datum C, which will lock it down. And this is our, whoops, X out of that. That'll be our final control here. And that will be it for this GDNT example on a bracket with a hole pattern. We'll see you on the next one.